All right, this evening we're going to be learning about polygons and the properties of polygons. Tomorrow in class we're going to be working with different polygons. We're going to be playing a game called Polygon Capture. It'll be a lot of fun, but you have to understand some different components of a polygon before we can play that game tomorrow. So let's take a look here, some polygon practice. What exactly is a polygon? Well, it's a shape, kids. It's a shape with sides. It must have at least three sides, and none of the sides can intersect. None of the sides can be curved. None of the sides can be opened. And this is what I mean by that. First of all, a polygon can be any shape, but some things that make it not a polygon, or make it so it's not a polygon, it can't be curved. So a circle can't be a polygon. An oval cannot be a polygon. Another thing, um, no open, no open spaces. And what I mean by that is you can't have a shape that looks like this. Okay? It needs to be closed. Okay? Another feature of a polygon. Okay? Lines must not intersect. Lines can't intersect. What it means, this cannot be a polygon. Okay? Well, obviously that one can't be a polygon because it's got a curved line to it, but I'll show you again. Lines cannot intersect in a polygon. Let's take a look at some characteristics here. Mental math, we're talking parallel. Parallel lines are lines that go on forever. So if I have some parallel lines, these two lines are parallel. They will never meet. Okay. Perpendicular is another, intersect at right angles. And this is what this means, kids, for a perpendicular line. Okay. They meet, and it kind of looks like a T in a way. That is a perpendicular line. Perpendicular line. So you have parallel lines, lines that go on forever. And then you have perpendicular lines. Okay? Let's kind of keep on moving here. Tomorrow we're going to be working with all of these shapes on polygon capture. Okay. I'm going to show you some things. Here's some examples. These lines right here are parallel lines. They will go on forever. Some other things right here. See on shape C, this is a perpendicular line. They meet at a space and make a right angle. Okay. This angle right here is not perpendicular. It is not a right angle. Okay. These lines right here are parallel lines. But this line and this line are not parallel because eventually they will cross into each other. Okay, Keep those in mind. Take a look at letter M. You're asking for opposite angles, kids. That means this uh, angle and this angle. They're actually parallel. They will never meet besides the fact that the line got a little crooked there. Also, the other opposite angles on M, they are also parallel. They will never meet. They don't form perpendicular lines, okay, because they're not right angles. Another thing to keep in mind, the reason why these are all polygons, as you can tell, none of the sides are curved, okay? None of the sides are curved. Another thing, all the sides are closed, and none of them cross each other. The only reasons why they're right by each other is tomorrow you'll be cutting them out. So H, J, O, and C, will, and B will all be different shapes. Here's some, uh, hopefully this appears well on your, your Chromebook. We're going to be going over each one of these little clues for polygons. All opposite sides have the same length. So when, I, when I'm talking about that, I better show some examples here. All opposite sides have the same length, so let's go ahead and use a square, for example. Okay? This is an opposite side of this. They're opposite of each other. Do they have the same length? They sure do. This right here and this right here have opposite sides of each other. If I were to take a rectangle out, opposite sides have the same length as well, don't they? Different color. These have opposite sides. But as you can see back in this example here, not all of them have opposite sides that are the same length. Okay. Right here, these opposite sides are not the same length. Okay. Keep those things in mind. Another slide, some sides have the same length. So 
when you're dealing with this, you're going to look at all the polygons that are in front of you from that one page. And if any of the sides have the same length, obviously you're going to capture that polygon. All opposite sides are parallel. So you're going to be looking at the sides that are right across from each other. If they're parallel from each other and the other sides are parallel to each other, parallel meaning goes on forever, then obviously you're going to capture that polygon. All sides are the same length. Those will be your equilateral ones. Now, what is a polygon called with all the sides that are the same length? That is called a regular polygon. All sides are the same length on a regular polygon. There are no parallel sides, okay? Only one pair of sides is parallel. So you'll be looking only if only one side is parallel. If they're both parallel, then you can't capture it. If only one pair of sides is parallel, then you will capture it. All opposite sides are parallel, okay? There are no right angles. Remember what a right angle is, kids? So ones that form a 90 degree angle. Okay? So this will take out all your squares and rectangles. All angles are right angles. Well, that will be all your squares and rectangles. I keep on going. At least one angle is more than 90 degrees. So you'll have to take a look there. So these will be obtuse angles. It must have an obtuse angle then. There's at least one acute angle. So one acute means smaller than 90 degrees. There are no right angles. Okay, we know what that means. All angles are right angles. There are more. There are one or more right angles. Okay. I think we know all these clues here. Once again, tomorrow I will be in class helping you. But we're going to be just experimenting. We're just going to be playing around with all these different polygons. Hopefully this helped a little bit with your polygon capture game tomorrow.